<laughs> greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages. It's so good to see you. Welcome. Uh, how many people love science? Uh, we'll still be asking you a fundamental question because uh, Isaac Newton himself was just here. Love what he did with his hair. Love it. <laughs> so, do you know there's a unit of force called a pound? What I would like to do, oh, we'll, we'll save this, we'll save this, it'll be spontaneous and brilliant. Uh, whenever I get ready to do uh, demonstrations or experiments, if possible, I'd like to put on a lab coat. Yes. Yes. So uh, many people ask me about white lab coats. To me, this lab coat's not white. It just shows you how bad eyewitness accounts are. <laughs> no, I'm really serious. People watch the show and think the lab coat's white. Does this look white? If you don't use one of the terms of me. So, uh, we will start with a time-honored one of my favorites. And for those of you who have heard John, John, have you watered the brains today? Yes, right on. Yes, right on. Right on. So those of you unfamiliar with this stuff, these are, um, I don't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, put some alcohol in my hands to take the germs off. I shake hands with all you grubby kids all day. <laughs> <laughs> take some, kill some, not only take them off so much as kill them. Disabled. But these are uh, marshmallows. I don't know if you've ever seen these. <laughs> So each little stream, you guys, each stream that you see, it looks like fireworks, are droplets of liquid nitrogen that leave a trail of water vapor droplets. And then the liquid nitrogen evaporates, goes back in the air, and the water, uh, the liquid water becomes water vapor again back into the air. But the spectacular thing about this stuff is in the ancient Fahrenheit units, it's 320 degrees below zero, Fahrenheit, which is uh, minus 196 Celsius. I hope you all live through the time when we stop talking about miles in Fahrenheit. <laughs> no, you guys, if you've ever seen, now look, I'll tell you, when you take physics, the English system is so clumsy and such a pain in the neck. Uh, by the way, I don't want to shock you, and I know there's probably some very conservative people here who don't want to make this change, let me warn you, volts and amps that we get electricity and watts, those are metric units. <laughs> They've always been metric units. <coughs> Sorry. All right, so uh, you recognize the standard issue rose, a beautiful rose, fabulous, soft petals, happy, maybe you know Zuzu and her petals, happy and soft. Rose in liquid nitrogen for a few moments, shatters like glass. Then, uh, yeah, it's cold, it's minus 196 Celsius. <laughs> uh, we'll also uh, throw some graham crackers. So, uh, in the tank, in the styrofoam now, is not only liquid nitrogen, it will have been evaporating uh, in the tank, so the whole thing is nitrogen. The whole thing is nitrogen. When I pull it out, it's all cold. It makes this beautiful uh, water, vapor, uh, water droplets. Anyway, marshmallows, you may remember, is being soft and mushy <coughs> and happy. <laughs> but after you have roasted them in liquid nitrogen, they change a little bit. Or Phil Marco. <laughs> now, if you guys go in this business, some of you may become science demonstrators, some of you may end up in a hair move. <laughs> Stay right there. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, hold it just a little lower, strangely enough. Three, two, one. Whoa. How many people have ever been in a boat? There we go. A wave goes.
goes under the boat, what happens? The boat goes up and down, right? Up and down. Uh, if the wind's blowing, it'll push you along. But in the land of physics, theoretically, if everything were perfect, the boat will go up and down, and the wave will pass through the water, and the water doesn't go anywhere. Under certain conditions, the top of the wave will go this, and it will come back. But in this case, notice that the fluid in physics and science and engineering, uh, if anything that flows is a fluid, so air is a fluid. Steam's a fluid, liquid nitrogen's a fluid, blood's a fluid. So uh, this fluid is, is making a ring that passes through the fluid. The air is passing through the air and holding its shape. It's really a surprising <laughs> result. And it's very important to us in uh, when airplane design and plumbing design and what makes your blood flow through your veins and arteries so smoothly. So what I'm going to try to do is get two at once, which is really cool. We can, there it does a good one. We can introduce what's called a co-instability. So you guys, thank you all for hanging in. I know it's great to see you all. It's great to be on an arbor. And uh, I rest, rest assured, assured that any science we discover in Ann Arbor applies everywhere in the world. And we hope, as we learn more about science, that it will apply everywhere in the universe. So I hope that some of you will use the process of science to discover new laws, new physical realities, and to dare I 